Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to uh, how to terminate a shield block or a, uh, a shield drain. So here's our two wire CAN bus um, mil spec wire here, and uh, then for tools I've got a pair of flush cuts. I've got my uh, wire strippers, a razor blade, which is going to be pretty important. I've got some heat shrink here, and then uh, then another um, non shielded wire. So let's go ahead and start this. So to strip my wire, I'm going to uh, get a length there, and then I'm going to take my razor blade. I'm going to score this insulation. So I'm just barely going to, you know, it takes hardly any pressure at all. So see that I'm scored there, and then uh, I'm going to turn my wire, and you can follow that score mark around your conductor there. So now I'm all the way around. Well, I can't just pull that that sheathing off, so I'm gonna have to score it again, but we're gonna go long ways this time. Now, I use my fingers and I touch my fingers on the table and that way I can set the depth of my razor. And we don't want it to go very deep. We want to um, make sure our conductor doesn't get nicked or anything like that. We don't wanna go through the shield. So I'm going to set my depth. And that this also kinda of guides you along the wire here. So there, got that. And once you get a piece of it, just grab a hold of it and grab a hold of your your wire that you're uh, you're stripping out there, and then uh, one swift motion comes apart. So now we have the the shield exposed, right? Well, our our conductors are here. That's our CAN bus high and low. So I want to trim this shield back because we don't want it uh, sticking out quite a ways. So I'm going to pinch low down here and push the sheathing back. So there. I've got it flattened out, see how I made a disc there? And so now I'm gonna take my flush cuts uh, and I'm gonna trim that off. So flush cut, and I'm just trimming around our conductor here. Now the excess comes off. So now I'm gonna just kinda carefully, um, carefully clean up my shield there. So now it's not poking back into the wire or anything. This is uh, just a wire label. We don't need it for anything. It's paper. Uh, I'm gonna cut that out. So now we need to terminate that, right? Either to carry it on to another um, length of CAN bus or to terminate it to our, our end. Um, so I'm gonna take my number 22 gauge wire here and I'm gonna strip it kind of long. It's about that far and then I'm gonna take my wire and I'm gonna open it up I'm gonna fan it out like that so now match up insulation to insulation turn your wire 90 degrees and then uh, you wrap it around so there we go wrap it around wrap it around wrap it around make sure it's good and tight you want a good mechanical connection that's kind of the key here so now we're gonna take my, our wire strippers here and use them as, a, as kind of a vise, if you will. And we're gonna go ahead and solder this. So I got my soldering iron ready. <clears throat> here, waiting in the wings. Clean up my area a little bit. And uh, I've got my solder here. So first things first. Um, you add some solder to the tip of your iron. Get a solder ball going like that. Once you put that solder on there, it's going to help conduct heat and then it will help you melt solder faster. So see, I've got my solder melting and I've got a good connection there. I might uh, clean that iron off a little bit and add a little bit more. So again, a solder ball Put it up against the uh, shield there, and there we go. So that's all soldered up and complete. Get my soldering iron out of the way. And then I've got my heat shrink. So now I'm gonna just place my heat shrink over the wire. And uh, so, you know, I want it to cover up everything. So I will hold my wire in place, being careful. Don't burn your fingers.
So there that heat shrink is coming coming together get nice and sealed up. And that is a shield uh, drain or shield ground.